Hi everyone and welcome to your seventh lesson of computer systems. This is actually the final lesson in the computer systems unit and we're going to cover two of the final topics. So those two topics that we're going to cover this week are environmental impact and security precautions. So both of these um, topics, we've actually covered a majority of the content that you need to know in S3 um, and at National 5 you don't really need to know much more um, so I'm just going to keep it quite short and keep give you the key information that we need for National 5. So environmental impact, we need to know that computers require energy in the form of electricity to run. Now, if it's a smartphone or laptop, obviously the battery will still need to be charged prior to use. All your other household appliances, and even if it's a games console, TV, anything like that, will need constant electricity to run. And the problem with this is that electricity is mainly produced through the burning of fossil fuels. Okay, and because they're not a renewable energy source, um, it generates quite a lot of carbon emissions, okay, so CO2 here, into the atmosphere. Um, obviously, we know then that that has quite detrimental impacts on our environment and on the world overall. So the ways that we can reduce um, the amount of energy that we use is by switching off a computer when it's not in use, setting computers to go to sleep mode after a period of inactivity, possibly going on standby when not used for a set period. We could also reduce monitor settings, so if you reduce the brightness, um, that uses less electricity as well on your computers and stuff. And then finally, we can close applications when they're not in use. These are all ways that we can help reduce um, electricity usage and therefore hopefully lower the environmental impact that computers have on the world. In terms of security then, we've, all we need to know is about firewalls. Okay, Again, we've covered this in the S3 security unit. Um, now, we only need to know that the purpose of a firewall is to restrict access to a network or computer system. So this could be unauthorized access from hackers or undesirable malware. Okay, So it's just a layer of security that we can add to our computing systems that try, that improves the security overall. We also need to know about encryption. So encryption can keep data secure by coding it to make it unreadable. Now it won't prevent the data from being stolen, but it means that if someone gets that who shouldn't get that data, it'll be unreadable because it's been encrypted. Okay, It's been changed into an unreadable code. So if they get that, they won't actually know what the data is. And that's everything that we actually need to know for the final task sheet on environment and security. Okay, So there's a task sheet attached with all of the relevant theory that you'll need to know. Um, the task sheet is only out of 10 marks, so it should be quite straightforward. Um, obviously, any questions on this piece of work or anything to do with any other piece of work in computing systems, um, just add a comment to this piece of work or email me and I'll be able to give you a hand. Okay, good luck.